Hey guys, hopefully you're all doing really good. Today I've got a fantastic tip for you and I think you're going to really like this one. So what I've been doing again recently on the channel is I've been trying to concentrate on again how I would say things should feel and trying to bring your attention back to things like muscular activation and just so that you can identify whether you're doing something right or wrong without it always being a visual piece of feedback. Now as I've stated the biggest problem that I tend to see with amateur golfers generally lies in the backswing position. I would almost say 90% of people I'm working with have a backswing fault, but you tend to neglect that, either because you overlook it or you don't understand the significant importance of it. Now, what I've done in a recent video, we talked very much about the trail leg and the importance of the trail leg, of it, the idea of it trying to stay flexed and turn the pelvis into the leg. This gives you much stronger activation in things like the glute. It gives you the ability to maintain the idea of pushing in towards the ground, but it also stops you fabricating rotation, which is what most amateur golfers do. You end up turning excessively on the backswing, which means that you trying to get open to the ball at the point of impact is just going to be non-existent. Now, today's exercise you can do in a multitude of ways. You can do it down the driving range, you can do it at home, and all you really need is either an alignment stick or I even think you're going to get away with potentially using a bucket. Now if you're going to do this exercise just at home with some of my students that I work with online I almost just suggest as well that you need to um, they could do it at home against the sofa. So uh, what I'm going to do first I've basically placed the bucket over my left toe line okay like so. Right, so you can see the way that the overhanging part of the basket there is over my lead toe line. And I'm just going to place the club across my shoulders. Now, if I rotate, so we say, correctly, in particularly the early backswing, then what should happen is as I sort of keep this trail leg bent and my pelvis turns into my leg and I rotate back like so, what you can notice is if you were to draw a line now vertically through my lead knee, the way it falls on towards my toe line. Now, what I'm seeing with a lot of people that again I'm working with online is that they move more this way. And the reason for this is because they rotate everything together. The trail leg starts to straighten too early, as we talked about. The lead knee then would go over the bucket. So the idea of the bucket being there is just when I do some practice swings, I'd look down, I'd go, oh yeah, I can see my knees now over the basket line. And if that isn't a strong enough visual for you, and you would prefer some sort of actual feedback, then all you need is you're just going to put your alignment stick in the ground like so. And again, just make sure when you rotate, as long as you're rotating correctly, then you'll notice the way your lead knee will come more inward and it won't be as prone to moving out towards the alignment stick. And from a face-on perspective, the correct motion would look like so. So you can see the knee would come more inward or the leg more particularly as a focus would come more inward as opposed to if I move incorrectly and I rotate more everything together, the lead knee tends to point more towards you guys instead of this way. And these are really, really important things for you guys to improve your movement because not only will this exercise teach you the correct I would say orientation, right? So the correct, keeping your tush back is probably a better way of explaining it. So obviously if you move this way, your tush is gonna come forward, okay? And what I've got a lot of amateurs do then is they try and just force tilting the shoulders. But the problem is you've still got the same issue of the straightening leg and the lead knee moving this way. And then all of a sudden, because you're still doing a vast amount of rotation in the backswing, you're just gonna get even more stuck and you're never gonna be able to open up. And there'll always be a point in time when that'll be problematic. So for a slicer who comes over the top of the golf ball, they might feel okay at the moment about just turning excessively because they're creating space to drop the club into. But as soon as you then get rid of that slice and you're more prone to things like blocks and hooks and you don't get great ball striking, you need to advance yourself to understanding how to move correctly. So this is the exercise really. It's a case of whether you prefer to think about the trail leg or whether you prefer to think about the awareness of the left leg, it doesn't make any difference. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to learn how to rotate without this leg straightening or this leg coming forward. And again, from a face-on perspective, it would look this way. Now, as I then continue to rotate, obviously if I now massively sort of did a massive hip rotation like we tend to see with some tour pros, then the knee might be more prone to slightly surpassing over the toe line. But what you won't see is you won't really see a tour pro 
where the knee moves forward massively in the early backswing position. Because again, if you move in that pattern, you're not gonna get that load. And as a priority, that is exactly what your backswing is. Now I'm very aware there'll be different people that watch the channel, different levels of abilities, different levels of physical capabilities. And obviously I'll help you out as much as I can if you have any questions about this. But I'm trying to say, you wanna try and learn to move as best as you possibly can. And there might be people that have fusion around the spine and they have real difficulty in creating separation and I get that and there will be limitations there but for the rest of us right really you do want to be feeling like it is more of a correct sort of rotation around the spine as I stated rather than rotating everything together because otherwise you'll never get that load if you don't get the load it's kind of like throwing a ball okay if you want to throw a ball Right, it's that way, isn't it? This way, and then up and through. There's no real benefit to rotating everything back together because you're not gonna generate any more storage of energy. Let me know how you guys get on. I'll catch up with you really soon.